Mic testing, mic testing. One, two, three. I know if I'm allowed, well, wow, I'll probably fix it in post. But yeah, let's sip out this water, I guess. It's really hot. Yo, what's your, what's your vibe? It's your boy vibe. All right, then. I need to move it. The last screen I decided. Every time I'm making a video, I was trying to like watch your screen. Maybe I watch your screen, I don't watch it any length. And it kind of weird. So let me move the screen. My second time recording this video because it ended up overheating. And, uh, my camera ended up overheating. I mean, it's real hot in here, so. Whatever. Whatever. So I was talking to one of my friends, and he was like, dog, to be fair, lovely quality of the videos, lovely videos, but he's, he recommend that maybe I should just talk now. I just kind of just peel back the layers and just just chop it up with everybody let them know like all right you're going on do our podcast style version of the video so people can more understand why i mean when you know starting a, a channel people already know it as much now right? so i was like you know that actually i get out there so in this video it's gonna be a more podcast version of my opinion on what invisible work means and why invisible work is important for you to apply so if you're in work, <laughs> if you're like in a corporate job or whatever, you could take off though. You could, you, I mean, um, you could just plug in your headset. You don't even have to actually watch your visuals. Just take into to the words that I'm saying right now. So you could get that, that motivation, that inspiration that you need to get to the next level now. What you think? All right. This hat really must well, but the boy ain't got trim, so <laughs> the hat out of rock for now. So I can get this fixed right now. Wherever. Wherever. <laughs> you dig? Alright, so when it comes to invisible work, first I'm gonna let it let everybody know. Not because somebody not seeing the work that you're putting in means you're not working. We need to <laughs> we need to remember that life bigger than just social media. Yes, I am on also on social media, so I sound like a hypocrite, but no. Life bigger than this internet thing, bruv. Like that because I didn't post a picture means I didn't take pictures. And because I didn't make videos mean I'm not making videos. I'm not improving in making videos. Um, people will call it a workaholic or somebody busy when they see the work that they're putting in. But 90% of the work that people do, people who are successful or things that you need to do to become successful is invisible work. And what does invisible work entail? Invisible work entail all the intangible that increases your value proposition in a field or workplace i literally just make up that <laughs> but it's true like i swear i swear i just make up that but it's true if i take in if i take in pictures there are so many other photographers what makes me different i can't share that <laughs> i wouldn't share that on, on youtube uh maybe i should eventually but I need to find that difference and in order to find that difference is all the invisible work that comes with Mawasi, my real name, <laughs> like the real me. What does he need to do in order to achieve these things? But it's hard pissing me off. Where are the brim? <laughs> Look how weird it's like the frame now. The brim looking weird wide. <laughs> but yeah, so what does I what do I need to do? Okay, cool. I use it myself as an example and you need to use yourself in your own story because this is a personal journey this is personal development right um i'm gonna check my phone because i've already done a podcast before so i ain't really know what i'm doing so we experimented here anyway right all right first thing i had to remember i had to remember i had to be almost perfect now <sighs> perfect is that word i have a love-hate relationship with but you gotta understand what I'm trying to say. So, for example, Kevin Durant, right? If you go and take some shots, if you go and shoot right now in the gym, and he have a workout and he hit less than 90% of the shots in that workout, to him, he had a bad workout. But actually, when he go on the court, he's shooting 40%, right? So, in real life, you gotta be double <laughs> what is required of you. I have to be double the photographer. In my personal life, when I practice it, so then when I have client projects, it's almost like I can make mistakes. I can have a bad shoot and I'll still be able to hit a top level that will give me a distinguishing quality over other photographers. Because in real life, 
I don't really want to compete with no other photographer. I don't want to compete with no other videographer. I watch us as all one. But when it comes to money, when it comes to corporations, of unfortunately, they do pay us against each other. That way. Um, so I just I still think it have plenty money to go around for everybody to eat. But I just basically saying they do do that. So in our way, in some form, it is a level of competition. If we ignore and we lie, we just cap it though. You understand what I'm showing you now, right? So what is the invisible work that might make my images better what is the invisible work that you might do to make you different when you're creating a brand it's really just your life experiences though and you need to accelerate your life experience as much as possible excuse me. excuse me. what does that look like so for example if i pl like i play sports i understand like hard work i understand the discipline i honest i do school I did uh, accounting, so I understand like money in certain instances. Then I also study finance, and I understand money in certain instances. So those might or will directly impact my decision making when it comes to photography. So, for example, when I did first graduate college, I was a man. <laughs> I know I got it right. This man want to come and tell me, act like I have no degree. I was like, bro, like, you hate him, the, like, with your scene, bro. And then I realized that he was, he, he then elaborated and say, if you act like you don't have a degree, you will become more creative. Okay, what he was trying to say is, select your constraint, and your constraint will make you creative. So I was like, all right, cool. So that's what I decided to do. I decided, all right, bro. I go and just real study personal finance and up my personal finance game. I don't care if I have an accounting degree. That's nothing to do with personal finance. That's corporate finance. I like auditing that had to do with showing how funds and balances clear and all that. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about that. That doesn't directly affect my decision making when I go to Capital One for a loan or when I go to Republic Bank and trade that for a loan. You know what I'm saying? So we need to understand what we're really doing. Cool. By me understanding that, know that i decided to pursue taking filmmaking and photography having that understanding like two years ago three years ago now i'm applying it to this venture right here and then all of a sudden i have way more equipment than i will ever have if i just didn't do that research in the past also part of that invisible work was understanding that there is time seasons and deals and certain things like so for example i would check amazon every single day and I will wait till a lens drop in price <laughs> to then buy it. It's not just about, hey, you had the money because you use your financial acumen to get this money to then go spend it. But the constraint was that forced me to do that was in Trinidad and Tobago, you have to have seven to one. So, aka, seven TT is one US basically. Uh, if you, and after I try to send the money back or do the conversion, it's almost like eight to one. That constraint, that's a big difference, bro. That is not no double the money. That is seven, you got to be seven times great to be able to achieve something so simple. So, like, if you're doing the matters, majority of people will just rent their stuff and I have nothing against renting. I would also rent things in the future for certain projects. But I wanted to be the person that had majority of my things so I could be able to lower the cost of me being able to do a commercial or do a photo shoot as much as humanly possible. I, I wanted to do be a real life run and gun type person. So I would check every single day and wait till something dropped by $300 and buy it. That's what I do for my last lens, which is a review that I'm going to make in a video in the future sometime. If I didn't do that, if I, if I was just like, yeah, I, I know accounting, I study personal finance, I can just s save up and do a pivot table and act all hoity toity, <laughs> act all preppy type, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to afford. Or wouldn't be able to get that deal because I was so in my ego now. Boy. You understand what I'm saying? Like invisible work gives you that 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 honest self esteem because you realize that despite what you know, there's so much that you don't know. <laughs> and uh, the more that you realize that, it is just naturally keep it in a grounded position, but it still keeps your confidence high when it's time to actually execute. Of course, I have high confidence. Of course, I have a higher self-esteem when it comes to certain photo shoots. Why? Because 
on a daily, I am picking apart myself way more than any client can ever pick me apart. Way more than anybody can ever do that to me. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm always trying to do this invisible work. Sometimes it's not about taking the pictures. Sometimes it's about are you nicer people on set? Do you make your subjects or or do you make the talent feel comf- comfortable? Do you, I are you good at convincing people that your ideas? Are you good at representing yourself on social media platform in our brand format and not just like a fella who is a vanity project? Do is it the decision that you're making that does communicate to the world and does give you a higher value to people who else is in also in your field, if that makes sense. So that over time, when people decide to say that you're talented, when people decide to say that you're good, they didn't realize that you had to improve in a lot of aspects in life. If um, if if nobody want to believe my dog, you could go and watch plenty of videos and most entrepreneurs will all, all tell you is like, you can't really take no shortcuts. Like being an entrepreneur is literally like self-improvement because you have to face the truth at all time. Like we can say we were people fighting me down, men as haters, people in really game, we respect all that. Cha-la-la-la. When you they watch your bank account, it have a reason why it didn't grow. It have a reason why you get one view. It have a reason why. You need to do the invisible work in order to solve those problems. And the highest form of intelligence is application. So stop being the person that just know a bunch of things now and do apply nothing in your life now. You see what I'm saying? As I say multiple times with these videos, I create these motivational videos type so you can watch it and not have to watch it again. Of course, if you watch it again, that benefits me on this platform. But I want you to just go and do. Like, be a do ah. Stop, stop. Like, I even, <laughs> it's funny. I remember I was talking, like, plenty of people like they call themselves Asna. Like, I'm a photographer and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I'm a filmmaker, all these fancy words. But in real life, you just want to be a doer. Invisible work equates or a characteristic of a doer. I do I just just do things that people don't see all the time. Like I had to listen to somebody who subscribed to the channel and decide I gonna do this whether I can fail or not, whether I'm a hair trim or not. I am doing it to see the results, whether it's good or it's bad. You see what I'm saying? Then I could take that this piece of information and learn and then come and try to make a better video to, to for you to have more value when you do decide to share your time with my channel because I care about your time. So it, 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 do you have to leave your ego? Imagine somebody saying, yeah, your video's looking real good, boy, but why ain't really showing our careers, man? Why ain't moving like you read, read, you read, rise, like you're moving kind of stiff, like you're moving kind of stale type. And you got to sit down and be like, thanks. That was constructive criticism. Let me go and go to the, go back to the drawing board. And let's say, let me try something different. You see what I'm saying? So, Invisible work has nothing to do with the. If, if, like, he didn't say I was a bad filmmaker. He didn't say I was a bad photographer. She didn't say I was a bad photographer. But they were saying, try something different. Maybe people relate to that. And I'm so grateful that we had that conversation. And that person does not create videos. That person does not take pictures. But the person was right. I was already in that state of mind because I know, yo, I put myself in states of mind to always improve. Please. Please, I am begging you to join me on this journey of deciding to put yourself in a space where you are prepared to, when you hear proper information, that you could retain it and then actually apply it. It's a state that you have to actually be in. Because if you're in your ego too often, you're going to miss it. By the time you miss it, you'll get left behind. If I don't post a video today, somebody else is going to post a video. That's just the reality of life. If I do take the picture for Vogue, whoever, magazine, somebody else is going to take the picture for your magazine. That is life. Life is results-based. I did say that in my first ever video. But I also said in my first ever video, I'm willing to fail forward. And then I stopped failing forward. Did that make sense? Because I was like, yo, I get in good. You understand what I'm saying? Invisible work. Staying true to your word. Staying true to the things that you decided to be obligated to. Uh, go and support other photographers. 
do jobs for free do jobs for low pain work with people that you don't think more talented than you work with people that who are more talented than you all that helps everything helps everything works you see what i'm saying because we all learn at a, a at a rapid pace um <laughs> i told my mind they cut off but they didn't actually cut off so hey i say feeling forward keep trying to figure it out what i um i do a good job or not it's kind of irrelevant be experimenting so yeah back to what i was saying though i think i was like then so please but this invisible work thing i need i need well i would like to not do it alone <laughs> right i'm coming up really close and awkwardly close to the camera right now can us as a community here leave your ego to the side do what is necessary and allow for us to improve that might take you going and learn different skills that will apply to your main skill which would then help you improve which would then help you please your clients then help you make better youtube videos will, will help you be a better person in your personal life because you had a wanted though it's how people out here who wanted more than you your talent is not enough your skills is not enough you work that you make your picture your video is not enough you have to go harder i'm not screaming it into the mic i'm talking mellow because i dared to you you have to go harder um besides a couple cuts beside a couple errors please leave feedback down in the comments if you prefer our podcast version of the videos or you want to go back to high editing plenty motion graphics annoying slight fake acting <laughs> the goofy the only only um just kind of having fun trolling type the more youtuber style videos please let me know if you prefer that i have some reviews coming up on some equipment i want to speak way more on finances when it comes to filmmakers no i'm not a financial advisor but i want to be able to speak on it so men can understand that bro just have better decisions that you can make and you don't really need to it's not like this big huge financial advice like when it comes to taxes or nothing it's just like more spending habits and more understanding like yo what is a good investment or is a bad investment from more opinion from my opinion so i want to i'm gonna be making some videos like that i will be reflecting on like improvements in photography improvements in video so the people who care about that i will actually explain what i improve and how i improve and what i did to get to that point now so people get as i say i'm going to tell you exactly how i get to where i need to get to and i'm trying to keep as that much secrets i'm trying to be as real or authentic as i could be or i do remember to be so i can stay true to my first ever video i make <laughs> on my iphone in a basement with the with terrible background and not even good lighting i did wear the same hat though that's kind of like what i really had all the time i know it washed out i know it played out but <laughs> that is where it kind of like it's nostalgia to me now it's nostalgic to me uh, i get on amazon by the way i thought it was cool but yeah Let, uh, please give feedback it would be interesting if not like the video if you make it all the way to this point you are a true fan <laughs> um also i want to make an announcement to the end to the end to the ones who was down in the end who make it down this far i'll i'm gonna make videos explaining you know, your noia but your noia should be an experience i'm gonna create a playlist and it will be a very different type video it's almost like mini ducks type don't want to hype it up too much i don't want to gas i just want to do not just cap you understand what i say now right? so those things are difficult for me to be able to do alone so right now your boy looking for funding for documentaries all these different things trying to not just play hero but also ask for help when it's time to ask for help because that is important to have men out here getting help bro <laughs> and not leaving the ego home i will be doing the same i will be leaving my ego home so if i don't get funding i'm just gonna make the money myself i'll be able to bring on certain projects um because certain things on my heart are way bigger than just having fun um i would like to bring on the youtube channel no don't get it twisted it has some like fun out videos i want to bring just a kind of way more light-hearted but in order for me to do that yeah i don't understand too not everybody want to be on the internet not everybody want to be 
<laughs> like on youtube or want to be recorded at every single moment in time so to me the coolest people in the world don't want to be recorded <laughs> um uh, besides like famous people but like coolest people in regular life like in the physical form like plenty of them don't like to be recorded so it's uh, kind of tough to make like fun vlogs sometimes uh i struggle with that i be transparent i struggle with that um but the self-improvement videos i love them i wish i did know them and i created it for somebody so they could apply it whenever they in a state of mind to apply until then like comment share subscribe great the vibes <laughs>